everyone, we are back and I'm joined by my friend, bikini model, Tara Kurtz. Hi. <laughs> so we are just getting started on our bikini journeys this year and we're gonna show you exactly what we do to get in shape. Tara is the absolute expert on this. I'm gonna show you her incredible bikini photos to prove it. And I have a history of looking good in a bikini too. So we are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna show you exactly how we eat and exercise so that you guys can follow along too because bikini season's around the corner. It is. All right, so let's get into it. Cheers. Cheers. First of all, we have some healthy beverages here. What are we having? Yes. Um, well, normally I call them a little mocktail. So a little sparkling water with either magnesium at night or right now we're doing like the energy supplements to kind of get through the workout the rest of the day. So this with some frozen so strawberries. I feel yeah, like so frozen I, fruit really helps elevate it. So you, you you poured sparkling water, a splash of, of like regular fruit juice, and then mm -hmm. I added some um, gut health supplements powders to it, and it's so delicious. So that's an option for a mocktail that's low calorie and good for you. Okay, let's show uh, Tara's bikini body. Wow, you guys, look at this perfection. <laughs> when was this? This was a couple years ago in... 2022. Okay, we've got yes. more. Just incredible. Look at this. Unposed, natural, just enjoying my time. I love this. So, guys, uh, let me show you. We're showing you this to prove like she's the absolute expert when she gives advice on how to get in shape. Um, she had a baby, she got way out of shape, and now she looks amazing. Okay, this is her. Instagram and she has walked the runway at Miami Swim Week. Yes. Um, oh, here's one of one of the shots of that. So Tara, give me your advice when it comes to how to eat as we're still in winter. How do we eat right now to get ready for bikini season? Well, right now we're in like that transitional season from winter going into spring. And so what I like to do and how I start is going right into your home environment and just removing the snacks and anything that you're going to kind of just like purge on or that's going to, if you don't have that discipline, I like to at least have the home, um, a lot of like options for healthy options. So start there. And then I also have a rule too, like if you're out doing like a birthday party or an event, you know, live your best life. Don't restrict your food. Um, but in the home, just your normal lifestyle, make those good choices. My thing is when I did coach, um, I used to actually study with integrative, the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. And when I was coaching and I coached women, I, my general like rule of thumb for food, um, if they don't want to do the micro macro like measurements is you can use your hand, right? And so you use your hand, your fats are going to be basically the size of your thumb. And then the center of your palm is going to be your proteins. And then your fingers are going to be your carbs for each meal that you have. And so you, and you can have like what, three, four, five meals a day. And if well, you, I was going to say, if it's only three meals, that's a tiny bit of and No, it I'm is. Really hungry. No, it really is. And so, but actually you would be so surprised, um, you know, when I did study, because studying with integrative nutrition, I did study other diets and I compared, you know, the SAD diet, which is our standard American diet. Mm. And it's funny how the acronym for that that's, is SAD. That is. That's <laughs> yeah. appropriate. Absolutely. And so we overconsume calories when we don't need those excess calories, right? So understanding that. Now, if you're like starting your whole health and fitness journey, don't like cold turkey everything. Those like small implement, like implementing things into your daily lifestyle is going to be huge, right? So you have to figure out what works for you. Um, when I go grocery shopping and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to just eat healthy. Um, and just really get my my nutrition on key. 
I really stick into the the fruits and the vegetable aisles and then obviously like the proteins. I try to stay away from like the shelf product because normally that's going to be your, your preservatives and your extra carbs and all of that. So I really like don't limit myself with fruit and veggie aisle and then with the protein aisle, but I really kind of watch what's going on over there with like the shelves because you're really good with, um, you know, like the preservatives and the GMOs, <laughs> the strawberries. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm all about organic right now. Yes. Uh, for sure. I've been stricter with organic than ever, um, to kind of not ingest toxins, but, and I'm not I, very I strict say, on that. I'm kind of like go with the flow on that. And um, that's uh, to me, that's health, not fitness. Uh, so health and yes. fitness are two separate things. And I used to only be into fitness, not health. And I was able to get fit on a somewhat of a junk food diet, but that's a, like a for sure recipe for having health issues. So now I've adjusted to really eating nutritious while also eating in a way that's going to have me be fit because the other end of that is that you can eat nutritiously and be out of shape, be fat, you know? That's fine. So it's, I'm trying to do both right now, which requires the most discipline, but I've eased into it over the years and it's working pretty well right now. So I'll tell you what I'm doing this month. We just wrapped up January and it went well for me. Uh, my new year's resolution for fitness. I always like to do a fitness new year's resolution. And, but you know, if you didn't, you can do a February resolution. Um, there's never a wrong time to commit. So, but I committed to only eating, um, basically three, three, just like clean whole food meals per day. Breakfast is usually just three scrambled eggs and a smoothie of freshly blended celery, banana. I put bee pollen in there, some powdered green superfoods, um, and a little bit of, uh, like kombucha to add some flavor, but the low sugar kind of kombucha. I like, Kavita actually, as well as that's what I've been using right now, but I, I like the Holy Kombucha brand and GT's low, low calorie. Um, I'll show you my bikini pics. So this was one of my faves it, because my abs are looking great there. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes. Um, there, that one too. Yes. And, and I enjoyed this uh, bikini, the Speedo bikini. Super cute. Yes. So I, since then, like right now I'm a little flabby. Oh, let's do before. So oh my yeah, we just, so um, I just really started. I'm just put it together last well, week. Well, so this is before, well, actually, yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just pinched my fat on camera, but and people are going to, people are going to be annoyed, <laughs> annoyed at me. It. And our body um, cycle too, as well, like the way they cycle. So obviously I'm not out of shape right now because I've been looking out, I've been looking out for myself, but I'm not in bikini shape either. Okay. For you, but bikini shape for you, that where that's you want to be for, that's true because Sports Illustrated lately says that you can be in bikini shape when you're fatter than me, which is fine. But we're talking about getting in like skinnier bikini shape. Well, still like for me, I like to have a good amount of muscle, but less fat which creates this aesthetic that most people want. I'll always sew on a bikini. I even have cellulite right now and I'm just like, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but, so, but there is an ideal type that I feel like everyone has in their right. head of themselves. And so yes. now would I be like, hey, I'm gonna go walk the Miami runway right now. I'd be like, I can do better because I feel guilty if I'm eating a bag of chips and then I go walk on a runway. I don't feel like I'm being a good representation of good health or a good standard. Um, so the mm, way my right. body shapes up when I'm eating very healthy and I'm maintaining a healthy workout routine, that is what I want to show on the runway, not the girl that's going to eat some chips and um, – you know, eat some more extra cookies or a bunch of candy. And I mean, come on, I, I'm a human. <laughs> but yeah. I do want to showcase you, health over that. That's I do. true. That's but, my own thing. But here's the th what I've learned is the most maintainable fitness level is when you 
regularly integrate junk food like that. Mm -hmm. It fills you up. Yeah. Like you, like I will get out of shape if I don't allow myself regular junk food because psychologically I'll throw the whole thing out. I'll say, this is too much. This is too strict. I'm just going to cheat regularly and get out of shape. But if I schedule regularly, regular cheating, which isn't cheating, it's just a free meal, Mm -hmm. then I stay on track. So let me just say last this past year, I was having so much stressful stuff in my life, primarily my relationship, which is as for another day to talk about, but I needed a, I decided I need an outside trainer to coach me. Normally I just train myself, but because of the stress levels, I'm going to get a trainer to make sure I'm on track because I'm concerned. I'm not going to stay committed under these high levels of stress that I'm dealing. So I bring in this outside trainer and he says, you are eating meat and veggies every day. That's it. There's no cheating because we don't cheat on anything. So no cheat meals. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I'll try. Well, sure enough, a few months in, I was like, dude, I'm cheating on myself. I'm eating, I'm eating. Like, I'm going to sneak this. I'm going to sneak this. I'm cheating on myself. Nobody's looking. Like, I hope my trainer doesn't. I was like, no, this is not the way to go. Uh, But this is what happens psychologically when you don't allow yourself free meals to eat, whatever. So what I'm doing now, now that I'm back to training myself, I've removed the external stress. I'm zoning in training myself again, and I am scheduling regular, regular free meals. I don't call them cheat meals, but you can. I like the free, I I like the name free meals. Yeah. It's a better, it's more free, more, more positive. Um, I do like that. Okay. So I basically, I, I don't say which day it can shift from week to week, but one day per week. Like if there's an event on Friday, then it'll, it'll be Friday. And maybe next week there's a big event on Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday. But, you know, a lot of times it's Saturday because it's a social day. So I give myself – actually what I'm doing is giving myself a free meal, not a whole free day. So like for dinner on Saturday, go out with friends and just eat whatever I want. So it can be a bigger meal and I can eat junk. Although I will say what I'm doing, what I'm back to now is – having only one serving of sugar per month, which is, you know, I'm proud of you. That's all I'm going to say. Not that I'm joining you, but I'm proud of you. So here's (laughs) the thing. Uh, she is actually less strict than me and she, she is a professional bikini model. So let's get more into your, the diet, anything you didn't tell us that we need to know about diet Uh and then get into your exercise. Uh-huh. Okay, so I have done the whole restriction on sugar, on gluten, um, on processed food. I actually did that. I started that process when I started studying with integrative nutrition because I recently, before that, after I had my son, which was seven years ago, and I found I had Crohn's disease, and I just had a baby. So I was like, well, I'm not going to be sick and raising a child. So that's when I took my health into a serious situation. But that's when I did cut out sugar, and I, I did – the gluten because I mainly did that to see what was going on with my body because everyone's body is different. The way that they handle foods, you know, like I've done a gut analysis where the microbiome in my stomach doesn't like apples. So it's going to like bloat and, you know, just, and that's the thing. Uh, that's, what's weird is, you know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Right. Well, not for me. (laughs) So everybody's different. It's just finding your things. The number one thing that I wish that anybody and everybody would do, I mean, everybody, male, female, if you're, whatever you're doing, do, and this is not a plug. This is not sponsored or anything. I paid for this myself. (laughs) Um, It is called Viome, V-I-O-M-E. What I did is they found out the microbiome, my gut bacteria, and they tested it and I sent out a sample and they get, send you a kit you send it your sample out. And I'm like, I'm, I think it was like a month they sent back. And on this app, it tells you all of your foods that are good for your gut. And it gives it, um, the description of why. And also tells you what your superfoods are. Papaya is one of my superfoods now. So every time I like to throw oh, papayas. Really? Yes. And I, and I don't like papaya, but I will eat it and I feel amazing. I feel great. You know? So 
I I'll have to try this. Yes, absolutely. I feel like everyone should try this. And that was like the game changer that put me in remission for my Crohn's disease. So I'm not on medicine. And that also, then it's like, okay, well I can cut, like start eating like a normal human again. And that it was that, that was a huge game changer. And now my weight, my weight has switched. I'm the heaviest I've been not pregnant. Um, <laughs> and, and so, and I'm fine with my body like this. It's actually, it's a little fluffier. It's whatever. It's my body. I love how it is. But for I, someone who's actually trying to get, but now shape. I want to get back to my little bikini shape because you know, if I want to jump on the runway this summer, like I want to jump on the runway, but I want to jump on the runway because I know I want to be healthy. And like I said before, I don't want to eat a bag of chips and then go on a runway. I don't, I don't feel like that's not who I want to showcase in my body. And when I eat really healthy and I work out, my body gets slimmer, leaner. And I like that look preferably on me and myself. Um, so that's what I'm trying to go back to now. Am I going to cut out sugar and do all that? No, I'm going to eat whatever fruits and fruits that I want to eat. Um, now am I going to eat like cake? No, like I'm just, I'm not really a big cake person to be honest. Okay. So I'm not gonna, you know, uh, one of my favorite fitness quotes, what you want to know what cake tastes like third place. We don't do cake. <laughs> we don't do cake in this house. <laughs> that's that's kind of nice. That's good. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's a pretty good quote. And but you know what? I also am like eat the cake, you know. But then also too, if you get third place, you know why you got third place. Okay. I also used to do the bikini competitions too, the natural ones, and I got second place. And it's probably because I was up late at night eating those Oreos with my son because I thought he was the cutest little bug, going in the jar eating the Oreos, and I was teaching him how to. It just is what it is, you know, and that's why second place tasted like Oreos. Okay, so like what what's your exact meal plan for someone who wants a bikini by like say May? They got a pool party in May. What's their exact meal plan today? You need to increase your water. Increase your water. If you are hydrated, you are going to snack less and your cells are going to be able to regenerate. <laughs> Um, water is a huge thing. Seriously, water. but cut. What about cutting calories? Yes, cutting calories, but don't do it drastically. Do I really like? Um, I noticed the best results when I would, and I can't even think of the name of it right now. Basically, like tinker it in my mouth. So I would start at like what? I start cutting at. Um, 1800 and then I drop at 1600 and then I drop to oh. 1500 but then like in between each that week or what not each week you have to slowly do it uh I think it's like so 1800 every calories two, around every two weeks I would drop but see the thing is it's like somebody that's like six foot can't be consuming 1500 calories because they're gonna pass out it's yeah. Not, so if so you everybody's gotta different. Out, you got to figure out your calories. So what, what I'm can, on right now is 1400. I'm five foot five and I'm doing 1400 calories right now. Can, are, are you counting seconds? calories? No, I don't count calories. Yeah. So I'm using my fitness pal app yes. to cut down to, to make sure it's scientific here. Yeah. And I think that's good. But like I used to do that. I, I used to do, Oh, I'm going to have 1850 this day and then the next day i'm gonna have 1900 and then i'm gonna drop it 100 the next day and then i would like and then i would do like a carb increase on one day and like every day was a different day and i did that and that was my competing stuff and if oh yeah the carb cycling that, car that carb cycling little, there you go that gets to be a lot i i was doing that too one year and uh one of the trainers at the gym is like hey what are you doing you're you or do you plan to do this for the rest of your life? If not, then stop doing it now. Find something that works for life now. And I took his advice and I stopped carb, carb cycling. Um, increased my calories a little bit uh, and then increased, you know, high protein. I highly recommend high protein. What about you? I recommend high protein. Absolutely. Yeah. So high, high protein, low calories, which means you have to either cut out a lot of your carbs or a lot of your fat. For me, I cut out a lot of the carbs and actually eat a lot of fat. 
So, and so, yeah, I, I think that's really good to say either or. Um, again, everybody's different. So there's some people, though, too, that get energy from carbs. And there's some people that when they have carbs, they need to take a nap. And yeah. so that's another thing is you're going to have to figure out what works for your body yeah. during the day as well, too. So me, totally. um, starchy carb, they, they make me, I get tired from too many carbs, you know? And so... I'm at a point in life where I don't like a lot of carbs either. Yeah. But I I feel confident from studying my my own fitness journey that you can you can ha- you can get fit with carbs or with fat in your diet. Like doing a low fat diet Absolutely. or a low carb diet. I do not believe as long it. as the calories are low and the protein is high, you can be able to shape but your body. The calories need to be low for your body. Right. Like what your body can handle and what they can take. I mean, that's why we have dietri- dietitians, nutritionists to ask those people like what your low is, you know? So everyone is right. different. Um, but one thing I strongly disagree with is when people completely remove fats out of their diet. I just yeah. I don't understand that concept because in my brain, how I understand fats work in our body is it's basically like the oil, like the oil, like of a car, it uh-huh. kind of keeps everything going in that way. And so you do still need little fats. Now, um, fats that I like are avocados, love them. Um, coconut oil, olive oil. I don't use Crisco ever, no matter what I'm doing. I don't use yeah. stuff like that. Um, Crisco, margarine, uh, canola oil. Those are all fake, highly processed, highly toxic oils. That we, that I don't oil. even, use but those again, you a, can get, life. it's all about cutting calories. You can get a bikini body eating those toxins. It's just your aging process is going to skyrocket. You're going to age faster um, because of all the toxins in those oils. Absolutely. So those are kind of, those I'm just, we just don't do those. Yeah. So totally. I, and I, I do a lot of grass fed animal fats, grass fed butter. I absolutely love. Oh yeah. I do carry the carry gold. That's grass. It's Irish grass fed butter. Yes. Yes. Okay. On to exercise. Uh, what are you doing uh, for workouts right now? And I'll tell what I do. So me, I am doing, because I took literally a whole year off from the gym. Uh, no workout schedule, no nothing, just rotting. Okay. No, I was really rotting. But so my thing is, I'm like, I just got to get back into the gym, back into the routine of that lifestyle, right? So my focus right now until next week, this past two weeks, has been just go to the gym, just get there and just do some cardio and like troll on your phone, music, something, just so my body starts registering, hey, we got to go to the gym, right? Mm, easing into it. There you go. And uh, so I did do like some RDLs the other day with you and uh-huh. it kind of, it made me really sore. And what, and what does RDL stand for? Uh Romanian deadlift? Yes. Well, I, I believe so. Yeah. Could be Russian too. I think it's Romanian. Yeah. Is it Romanian deadlift? I, I, yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. Cause you're, yep. It's Romanian deadlift. And so we do these things and we don't know what they're called anymore. I've been doing these things for years. I do it, it with, I, R, I do RDLs with the barbell and I, we forget what they're called. It will come back to me. If I really focus on it, I'll get there. Um, but again, it's pulling that all the way back up here. And so, uh, yeah, just going to the gym and getting there. And so cardio hasn't been a big thing, which actually I've been doing pretty well today. I got really stressed with work, which was like some contracts and everything. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go and run this out. And I ran, I sweated more than I've sweated, like sweat this, what past two weeks. And I felt great. And I was like, okay. She's like, stay away from me. I'm sweating. (laughs) Yeah. But you know, it's just, and then it made me happy though after because I was like, okay, my brain has switched over to go to the gym now. Yeah, so that you was realize my... you remember how good you feel after and it incentivizes. Absolutely, you to go absolutely. Yeah. So if you're not, if you've taken your long break, if you've never even been to the gym, my biggest recommendation is just going there, even yeah. if you don't even know what you're gonna do. Just go jump on a treadmill, go just get in the habit of going there, and then start doing your workout plan. Or if you're type yeah. A, go with workout plan. 
That's me. I was like, I have an exact plan. I got back to the plan that I figure out really works for me. And I think what you, the main thing is figure out a workout that's really doable for you. Some people thrive in group fitness. Some people thrive in solo fitness. I thrive in solo fitness. Group classes kind of stress me out unless it's calm yoga, but these intense group classes, I'm like, ah, and if I forced myself to do that, I would probably just uh, abandon it eventually. So the, I think the biggest key is find a way of working out that you love, but strength training is going to sculpt the bikini body. People, Absolutely. people, you know, get stressed out about spot reduction. Like, oh, I carry my fat here or I carry it here. How do I, how do I, how do I reshape the aesthetic of my body and strength training is going to help reshape it. I think adding cardio helps slim it out, but strength training shapes it and strength training, which adds muscle, firms up your skin actually. That's so your, your skin is going to be tighter. Your stomach is not going to sag as much over your belly button. It's going to be firm and in a, are you going to show it? Yeah, no, because mine's doing it. And normally, oh. it, like normally in the past when I'm on like a full workout routine with weights, it actually does not like, so I have like, it kind of almost seems like I have like extra skin right now uh -huh. and it's just, it's not like whatever. Anyways. So my past though, it's what she's saying. It's, it's firm. It's where it needs to be. Yeah. And, um, I, and it'll firm back up. I totally agree. Like when I slack off, then the skin gets a little more flabby. When you start maxing out with weights at the gym, which you can do low, uh, you can do either light weights, high rep or heavy weights, low rep, as long as you're maxing out your muscles, um, it's going to add muscle and tighten up your body. And, um, it's actually pretty hard to add muscle, but just adding a little bit is going to firm up your body. It also, uh, escalates your metabolism, which helps lean out. So you're actually burning more calories in, in a sedentary state. If you have more muscle on you, which in turn shrink wraps your body, creating the bikini effect. Yes. So, oh, also one thing I do want to know, and I've always meant to say this and I always forget to say this. I used to tell my clients this all the time. Um, so when you are in the middle of like losing weight, transforming, make sure you moisturize your skin. Like you mm. are doing lots of lotion, like oils, whatever it is. So I gained 80 pounds with my son. My stomach was huge Ooh. with him. You know, he came out a very healthy baby. That's all that matters. And so, you know, my, I, my family had stretch marks on their stomach and on wherever their butt or the boobs and all that jazz. I didn't have any after that. And you think, didn't have stretch marks. I didn't have stretch marks. And so I think because of that, all I have is you my, were moisturized. I was, so you need to like be moisturizing basing. when you're fat, especially. I was, I was basing that belly. I was enjoying every moment of them. Like, give me this big old fat belly, you know, like, why not? You know? Oh, I miss it kind of. Oh. Okay, we can't tell. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I would just like, and I remember like being at a wedding and just like, you know, in the middle, like uh, in like the bachelorette room, the wherever the, not the bachelorette, but the bridesmaids were at. And I was in there my third time just oiling my belly. And she's like, you've already moisturized. I was like, we're going to keep it going. We're just going to, and I kind of liked it too. But I use that same, that method when now is I'm constantly like, you know, oiling and just knowing that my body's going to trans like transform. So I need tighten to tighten back up. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well let's see, you know? Um, so I highly, highly recommend that as well yes. too, you know? And I mean, also too, if you have stretch marks, who cares? It literally doesn't matter. It is what it is. I have a C-section scar. Don't care, you know, uh, live and love your best body. Okay. But if you want to be like me and moisturize your belly you know it's it's then you thing. can have this amazingly tight stomach that she that she has now and in her pictures like let's bring this up again dang that's crazy okay <laughs> so <laughs> um like, so what i'm doing so she's easing back into the gym so i'm um this past month i've been doing leg day twice a week i think leg day is uh just incredibly crucial for a bikini body I, I don't, I can't believe we took this long in the video to say that, but leg day 
is going to shape and lean out your entire body. So lift the glutes. Lifting, yeah, lifting, or, I mean, strengthening the biggest, the, so the biggest muscles in your entire body are in your legs. And if you strengthen those, it's going to actually cut fat everywhere. There's no such thing as spot reduction. So doing a bunch of cr- crunches is not going to cut fat on your body. It might What's even gonna, build you out too. That That's true. You There's such a thing as getting such strong abs that they stick out more, your stomach's sticking out more. Wow. But so some bikini models actually avoid a lot of ab days. Um, so when, when you grow these muscles, your whole metabolism goes up. And, um, and the shrink wrapping happens. So I would always say that my abs are, are courtesy of leg day, like that super. So my, my stomach was rock hard there. I was so happy. Uh, I good. You look great. and, uh, and it's because my stomach was so hard because of leg day. So uh, leg day consists of, I just do like three different leg moves that uh, grow your glutes and hamstrings. I avoid the quads. I barely ever do squats because it exercises the quads a lot. And I don't, I, it's not a bikini body to have like giant quads. Yes. So, um, yeah. So my ideal bikini body for my body, what I tried to do is I tried to push more with my heels and my toes, which means you're going to get less quads and more in your glutes. So those are the exercises that I'm doing a lot more to give uh-huh. that sculpted lift in. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, I know how to kind of, you know, build a little booty. So, um, yes. Yeah. If you want to show them that one picture, I think over the, the bridge, um, it was like an awesome, oh, right here. No, not that one, the other one. There you go. Oh yeah. Look at that booty. I don't edit my body. My body is what it is. Like you're seeing it for look at those aesthetics. So that is my butt. And so what are your favorite leg day moves then? Um, Oh, I like pulses. It's the pulses. So can you demonstrate what that is? Cause I don't even know what that is. You don't know what, okay. So you can do, you can add a pulse into anything, right? Oh, okay. So it's just like an exercise that you're going to do. So, um, let's see, I'm going to try to, I'll just be careful. (laughs) Okay. This is so weird. (laughs) I haven't done this in so long. Okay, so let's say you're going and getting to, back to it though. I know. And here's the thing, she's so, been dedicated to fitness for so many years that she took this one year off mm-hmm. and it didn't even affect her. Look at I it did affect me. I gained about 15 pounds, but I I wow. it's okay. It is what it is. My body, I love it. It's it's just how it is. Um, okay, okay, so squat pulses. So you, you can do squat pulses too. So like okay, so you're squatting and then uh-huh. when you're down, you can just pulse. Oh pulse. wow, that is and brutal. Pulse. And pulse. And those pulses literally just like are going to wreck those glutes in such good ways. And then oh, going, wow. just pulse. And then I like, so I actually would do those during the pandemic when that you weren't allowed in the gym. So I'd go to the park and do, you know, just body weight stuff like that. And you can get a brutal body weight workout. Actually, one of my favorite body weight workouts that always makes me super uh, sore with my legs yeah. is when you, uh, the jump, the jump squats into jump lunges. Oh like yeah. That. That's so brutal. Yes. Um, and then my like old, what I call old faithful for legs is the, um, hip thrusts. Oh, of what, course. Yeah. yeah. Hip thrusts are really amazing. And, um, any sort of deadlift, um, like straight leg deadlifts are really good. Um, so those are some things I've been incorporating. And you can lift heavy too on your glutes. Don't ever let anybody say you can't because I, I have a video on my TikTok where I'm lifting lifting over 400 pounds with my glutes. Dang, girl. And I was the tiniest, tiniest I had ever been. And um, wow. yeah, it just... Yeah, it'll, it'll literally shrink wrap your body so you are tiny just from strengthening the biggest muscle on your body, which is your glutes. So yeah. So in addition to that, I'm doing cardio, like running around five days a week. That's great. And yeah. it's good for endurance too. You I've know? missed a couple Getting days. endurance up is so good. That was another reason why I just was like, let me just do some cardio and get that endurance back going. 
but I definitely lost, I, I definitely um, gained weight over the holidays and I'm getting back to it now that. But you had good holidays with your family. Yeah, so it good well times. Soon. It was worth, worth it. I kind of, I think everyone just loosens up for the holidays and then it's like, okay, yeah. let's get back to some discipline. And um, yeah, so on this plan, I've lost like three or more pounds um, since the start of January. But you're internally healthy though, too, because your choices, you're making really good choices, you know, with cutting out our sugar and then really watching like organic yeah. and everything. Those are like, cause again, like you said earlier, like the fitness and the health industries are two different industries, right? But yes, and I'm, I'm both, trying to do great. both. So, so it's that breakfast I described. And then for lunch, I'm doing, uh, meat, like, uh, uh, like four ounces of, of, uh, steak, steak strips, steak bites, steak, steak, steak every night, every day right now. Cause I have a lot of steak in my freezer <laughs> and, um, and then like a bunch of veggies, tons of veggies. I, I'll like cut up zucchini and bake it. Love that. Or like cauliflower. Um, and then for dinner, like the same sort of thing. And then if I'm starving, you know, I log everything in the, my fitness pill app. I, I'll do like a tablespoon of peanut butter if I'm starving, something like that. Like fats, all the fats are allowed in my diet, hardly any carbs. That's just what is really working for me. It's what feels good to me. It's what's satisfying to me, which sat satisfying is sustainable. When I'm still hungry, then I like make myself tea, mm -hmm. have some sort of calorie-free beverage to sip. Flavor teas are great. I really yeah. like the like the lemon glaze because it tastes like a lemon cake tea because it's like mm. almost like your it's a good little dieting hibiscus tea is my jam. I think it tastes yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teas are really helpful. Absolutely. Because yeah. I used to drink a lot of like flavored sparkling water, and I feel like there's toxins in there, so mm -hmm. I do less of that now. Mm -hmm. Um, because I'm really trying to avoid taxes, but again, that's, that's health, not fitness. We're talking fitness today. If you want to do both. I, I like the both. I like that we're yeah. distinguishing the, the two different ones, but I also like that you're so type A about it and I'm more like relaxed about it. <laughs> so I feel like it's a good little balance. Yeah. So this is our fitness journey. We're going to update you guys as we go. We have a photo shoot, uh, scheduled for March. Yes. going to do a bikini bikini shoot so that you those are some things you can do to motivate yourself if you're like i i'm like lacking motivation with this fitness journey schedule a photo shoot like do a professional photo shoot doesn't have to be in a bikini but you want to look good in this photo shoot and then you're like okay now i gotta stay committed because the photo shoot's coming up the obligation so that's that helps as well. Anything else people should know? Uh, yeah. So today I took my son to go get Chick-fil-A and I just got a Chick-fil-A salad, you know, just mm. add that little, you know, if you're like a busy mom like yeah. me, you know, it's just those little choices, um, yeah. Throughout the day are really going to set you apart later on. So you don't have to inconvenience your entire lifestyle or anything. You just make a little bit better choices. And yeah. You slowly go into it and you can go cold turkey. I'm not, I'm going all ham, right? Like I'm going to do the full fitness plan. We're emptying out the kitchen. You can do that. Or you can do the small implementation, uh, implementations, each implementation, implementations. <laughs> yes. And so, yeah. And those little things, they, they really do cultivate a lifestyle though. I feel yeah, like you can me, ease something in each month. Yeah, or even each week. I like I've, to do each week. I've kind of done that like each year, honestly. Have you? Okay. Yeah. It's like 2019 was the first year that I was like, okay, we're going to do one serving of sugar per month. And like 2018 prior to that, I was like just doing slightly reduced sugar. And then like 2020, it was like even stricter. And now it's like, okay, grass fed meat and organic veggies and almost nothing else. Like, let's go real clean. Um, but so I've kind of been doing it each year, but if you want to do a modified version of that for each week or each month, there's an idea. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, guys. Well, what are we going to talk about next week? Oh yeah. So next week we are going to talk about red and green flags in friendships. Yes. So part of health and health and fitness is 
healthy relationships mm -hmm. and it's key to have good solid friendships now how do you find a kindred spirit who's not going to be toxic this was tara's a uh, topic idea actually <laughs> I feel like it's trending, you know? We always talk about, like, the red flags and, like, men. Why can't we talk about the red and the green flags of all, like, friendships and relationships? And so... How I'll... to pick your bestie. Whoop. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to jump in it. Okay, tune back in next week. Subscribe to my new Health with Ivory channel. We're going to be doing uh, regular uploads now. See you guys later. Bye, y'all. <laughs>